the star is something very special to us. We like to sit on the balcony sometimes. I tell her stories. We just look at the stars, name them with stuff that we love. When I decided to leave to Canada, we always write to each other about the stars and how much we miss each other and how much, no matter how far we are, the stars gonna keep us together, keep us uh, close. Any dictatorship authority yeah, should be afraid from Razan or people like Razan. Those people who have the dreams and the vision and have the energy to, to, to do and to fight for their work. Razan always stood out in the human rights community in Syria. I mean, very sort of male dominated with huge egos. There was always something sort of strange about her because, you know, she was in a way the scat lady. You know, she was always surrounded by cats. Uh, she uh, looked very sort of soft. Uh, and yet she was doing some of the most courageous work. She was one of the few that did defend communist activists all the way to Islamists. And every time the authorities try to compromise with her and when she would have to compromise on certain things, she just refused. She doesn't like to talk about herself personally, and she likes to share uh, success. If something was not so great or it was negative effect, she might blame herself. She might say I instead of we, whereas we are encouraging people to do better, but I couldn't get this to work. People should know about Razan because she is the story of the revolution, the story of the dream. She's a sample about the Syrian who want to have better life. <laughs> When the uprising began, her role just exploded. She started out many of the local coordination committees, the Violations Documentation Center, one of the leading uh, human rights groups. And in a way, it was amazing to see her just sort of play that leadership role and, and, and become a symbol uh, for many of the peaceful activists and what the uprising in its early days represented. I'm trying to research and find uh, some of our articles. Um, a lot of it was lost, so I'm trying to figure out where she posted um, because she used fake names. And the more you read them, you find more about her and what she's done. That is the part that we don't know about her. Uh, I know the part where she's my sister and my friend. And, but apparently she has another part, which is much bigger than that. Her husband is also very great and wonderful. And especially in the beginning of the Arab Spring, we go together, we have many meetings with the youth and talking about the revolution or the uprising, what happened in... in Tunisia and in Egypt later and pushing people to, to, to do something. He helped her build the bridges between her world and the world, let's say. The, um, in a way, she's, she's able, when he's around, to um, defeat sadness or... Um, keep hope there. 
um, even in her worst times. وائل يحيط بي من كل جانب يغمرني كقوس قزح كنشيد ساحر أجده حيثما التفت في أقصى لحظات كربي في أشد لحظات عرتاقي وكما يغني مرسيل مرسيل خليفة مثلما ينبت العشب بين فاصل صخرة وجدنا غريبين معا وائل ساعدني كثيرا لأعيد جسور التواصل مع هذا العالم وأستعيد توازني الذي كنت أفقده من أحزان الماضي أنا أحبه أحبه جدا Especially in the prison, I feel I am strong. I feel I am not alone. Because Razan, she's there working. Even in, in, in the, um, when the torture and um, feel weak or exhausted, and always remember that Razan was there and So um, don't worry, everything will be okay. In you know, the summer 2013, and she says, look, the situation on the ground here is bad. I'm starting to see violations being committed by some of these armed groups. We did not do a revolution and lost thousands of lives so that we replace the current uh, government with other monsters who would repeat the same injustices. These people have to be held accountable exactly like the regime. I mean, this was her spirit. August, September 2013, she sent me a message and she said, I wanted to let you know I'm receiving threats from some of the local armed groups because of the work she was trying to do at that point, documenting as well some of the abuses by the local armed groups. At least three or four people killed daily in the city of Duma. But perhaps, This type of death is preferable to the alternative. The other kind of death is slow and painful because you experience it every second. There's nothing worse than no, not knowing what happened to her because we just hear rumors and stories and n now just a dead end after another dead end, so. I think I would be a very different person without her influence. I learned what human rights are and what love really is. With Roseanne, love meant freedom and um, it meant being human, having dignity, and being able to offer a piece of yourself to someone um, without expecting anything in return at all. People usually create a hero and person like Santa Claus, Papa Noel, as I mentioned, the humanity need those good example and hero. They make the life better, even if they are not exist. But in in, in Razan's situation, she's true. It's not uh, a fake story. She's true, she's a great example about all this value. Our star and our yesterdays, I'll never forget. A lot of days went by 
and we had a plan, crazy plan, and I never forgot. We cried a lot, but I never cried the same way as we cried together 